This is the Minis Forum UN 1250. So I've been using it for a month and here's the deal. Some wins, some trade-offs and a few surprises. If you've been researching this but still feel like you're missing the one key detail before pulling the trigger, this video is for you. So buckle up, subscribe and let's dive in. Inside the box you get the UN1250 mini PC and HDMI cable, a power cable, a power adapter, a SATA cable and a VESA mount for attaching the PC to a monitor or TV. Nothing fancy but everything you need. The device itself 5 by 5 by 2 inches and weighing just 550 grams. It's smaller than most routers, perfect for mounting behind monitor or slipping into a minimal setup. Compact, portable and ready to disappear into your workspace. The PC sports a clean silver finish, simple but not boring. It blends into any workspace without standing out. Up front you get CMOS clear button, power button, 3.5mm headphone jack and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports for fast data transfer. On the back, USB-C which serves as a data and display port, HDMI, full size display port, two USB 2.0 ports, a 2.5G Ethernet port and a power input. The big win, triple 4K output at 60Hz, a rare feature at this price. You can run three monitors simultaneously via HDMI, display port and USB-C. Now let's get this thing fired up. For the initial setup you'll need a wired keyboard and mouse. Bluetooth works later but wired is best for the first boot. The UN1250 comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed so setup is straightforward. Select your region, connect to Wi-Fi, sign in and you're good to go in about 10 to 15 minutes. The BIOS is clean and simple with easy access to boot settings and system configurations. Nothing flashy but it gets the job done. The UN1250 packs an Intel Core i5-1250P, a 12-core 16-thread processor that clocks up to 4.4GHz, paired with 16GB of DDR4 RAM which is expandable to 64GB and 1TB PCIe 4.0 SSD, it's built to handle daily tasks with ease. For casual users like office work, web browsing, media streaming and even light creative tasks, this thing flies. Windows 11 Pro feels snappy apps launch quickly and even with over 20 chrome tabs open it doesn't break a sweat. But here's where it gets interesting, real world benchmarks. Signbench 602 points in multi-core, 97 points single core. In Geekbench 6 2262 in single core, 9153 in multi-core. That's right around 11th gen desktop i5 territory. If you're a student, office worker or someone who needs a fast, reliable and quiet PC, this thing is perfect. Microsoft Office, no issues. Zoom calls, smooth. Light photo editing in Lightroom, effortless. But if you're wondering, can I push this like a full-size desktop? That's where you hit limits. Heavy tasks like 3D rendering, intensive video editing or running virtual machines will slow it down. The lack of a discrete GPU means GPU heavy workloads are a no-go. It can handle light HD video editing, but if you're doing serious creative work, this isn't a workstation replacement. So where does that leave us? For daily tasks, casual multitasking and general use, it's fast, power efficient and punches way above its weight. But if you're expecting desktop class performance, you'll hit limits fast. Now gaming performance. Can it game? Short answer, yes, but with limits. The UN1250 uses Intel Iris Z graphics which is fine for casual and indie gaming. I tested Forza Horizon 5 at 1080p low settings and it held around 60fps comfortably. Push it to 2K and it drops to around 30 FPS, still playable. Heavy games like Mafia Definitive Edition technically run on this PC, but even at the lowest settings in HD, you're looking at around 21 FPS, basically a slideshow. And as for AAA titles like Starfield, don't even think about it. Modern Warfare 3 on low settings hits 40 to 50 FPS, which is playable, but not exactly satisfying for serious gamers, so manage your expectations. With emulation with Dolphin, smooth sailing. GameCube classics like Mario Kart ran without a hitch. 
On a quick note, no external GPU support via USB-C, so adding one isn't an option. For casual creators, the UN1250 holds its own. 4K video playback, smooth. Basic photo editing in Lightroom or Photoshop, not a problem. But when you step into 4K video editing, things slow down. Simple cuts and edits are fine, but rendering, color grading and applying effects push the limits. If you're looking for a secondary editing machine or something for occasional creative work, it's decent. But for serious projects, you'll need more power. <laughs> Expandability and upgrades. This is where the UN1250 really shines. You've got two RAM slots so you can start with 16 gigs and upgrade to 64 gigs. Storage is just as flexible. An M2 2280 PCIe 4.0 slot for super fast speeds plus a 2.5 inch SATA slot for extra storage. This level of expandability isn't always a given in mini PCs so if you're looking for something that won't feel outdated in a year or two this is a huge plus. Despite its size, cooling is well managed. Vents on both sides ensure consistent airflow and under normal use, browsing, working or streaming, the fan stays almost silent. Push it harder with gaming or video playback and the fan ramps up. It's not obnoxiously loud, but you'll definitely hear it on the load. You might also hear a high-pitched coil whine, which could be an issue if you're sensitive to noise. So the question, who should buy this? At around $300 US for 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD, the UN1250 punches above its weight. It's fast, compact, and surprisingly capable. Perfect for office tasks, home setups, and even a small home server, thanks to its expandability and 2.5G Ethernet. If you're a student, an office worker, or someone who needs a reliable PC for a daily task, this is an easy recommendation. But if you need a workstation or a gaming powerhouse, this won't be enough. So after a month of testing, is the Minis Forum UN1250 worth it? If you're looking for a compact, quiet and affordable PC that handles daily tasks and light creative work without breaking a sweat, this is a no-brainer. It's fast, upgradable and well-built. One of the best budget mini PCs out there. But if you're after serious gaming power or workstation level performance, this isn't the one. The lack of a discrete GPU and a mid-tier CPU performance mean it's just not built for heavy tasks. At this price though, I think it's great. Would you daily drive this or are you looking for something more powerful? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if you found this review helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Family Pop TV. Family Pop TV. Family Pop TV. Family Pop TV. Family Pop TV.